Welcome to NIPS, the Northeast Institute of Performance Studies. Each year, we hand select a group of students to compete in our rigorous acting program. But here's the twist. Only the last person standing gets to graduate. We film them 24-7 and they can be eliminated at any time. This is Cutthroat. talking about, Graham? Kamantha's right here in my arms. This is the very same Kamantha you all saw last night. She went to bed like all of you, in her own bed, upstairs, with not a producer in it, and we did not have to ask her to leave in the middle of the night and get a stand-in. What? So we're what? looking for Kamantha Milano? Yeah, yes! S silly, silly Bitsy, she's right here! Do you not see her? Wave your hands, Kamantha! Maybe they can't see you! Just what tell you us know? where Kamantha is. This is I... dead. Yeah? Mmm. Yeah, but that's a good distraction from you. So, yeah, Missy's dead. Someone who was smart enough to know how silky smooth Pantene conditioner was put it on some stairs Missy was walking near and Humpty Dumpty tumbled down. <sighs> to her death. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's right. I bet you all feel pretty terrible about yourselves right now. Did any of you ask where Missy was? Not one of you. Don't worry, I didn't either. But still, we're going to be having a memorial service for her later on. I would love for you all to write a eulogy for her. I know this will probably be challenging for all of you, but I, I want you to push through because it's these kinds of challenges that only make you stronger people. Do you know what I mean, children? And I'm sorry to be the bringer of bad news, but I'll see you later. I'll see you later, okay? Bye, bud. All right. I know that girl's not Kamantha, but I'm not going to lose this thing, so I'll play along with the producer's silly game. I'm the only one here who knows that the first rule of acting is say hui. Her out of all of us, you know? I can't believe it was her. I know. She was the one to go. It'll make no sense. I look forward to her memorial service. I think that this is going to make everybody feel a lot better. Yeah, yeah. What are you guys going to do for the challenge? Well, I think it's challenging, but I wouldn't call it a challenge. I know this is a challenge. I can see straight through Delvin's Dwayne Reed Foundation. Challenging. It's all very challenging. Grieving, I decided that the only way to do this would be to bake, prepare, think about, and eat a eulogy. Now, these are not things to take lightly. It's something we put pride in at the Hayes household. I didn't think we'd have another one before Christmas, but here we are. I wanted to research Missy to properly remember her, uh, so I turned to the internet, and uh, I could not believe what I saw. Devastating. Devastating treatment of women. In order to eulogize my good friend Missy, I, I had to do some research and I just had to make sure that I properly remembered my good friend Missy. In preparing for this challenge, I desperately need to learn how to cry. Because it's not going to come from genuine emotion. <laughs> I am literally trying every trick in the book. I've tried plucking my precious eyebrows, eating spicy food. I watched a sad movie. You were top five going into the day. And with this little stunt, you moved into number one. I don't believe it. I even confronted the death of my dog. Mom, I need you to kill the dog. If I don't do this, I'm gonna do it. Just might have to wing it a little.
you all for being here this morning. Morning. It's a funny word, isn't it? On the one hand, it represents the beginning of a new day. On the other, it represents the end of someone's life. I'd like to bring up Father Frank at this point. He will be leading the service for today. Father Frank. Thank you, Jensen. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. I'm Paul Frank. I'm here for Missy's funeral. It's not fun and games anymore. It's doubly serious. Missy's family is a very nice family. I hope you all get to meet them after the service at uh, Frank's Pits Barbecue where we're hosting the reception. Open every Friday, so June to 4th. Good. Now, all I wanted to talk to you all about this. Okay, so we're gonna have to go through this real quick. I have a very big emergency going on at home. My dog has uh, gotten into something she should not have gotten into. I'm sure we all know all about that. So, uh, Mrs. is dead. It's very sad. I believe we all have eulogy, so I'll let y'all get right to it. Mary Jane, we'll start with you, and I will uh, take my leave. Don't forget, Pitt's Barbecue. Every Friday. So we shouldn't have gotten a priest off the page those days. Recently, I've been getting a lot of questions, uh, like, why are you in this competition? And I remember that, why am I here? Jasper, sweetie, would you like to go?
I've prepared this, the ceremonious eulogy. Uh, I stayed up all night baking it, and I hope it's enough for everybody. So anyone would like to take some, please. Sometimes I lose faith. I had a hard time getting up this morning and coming here. So my, my friend's dead. And I really miss Missy. She'll never win that Tony. She'll never have her wardrobe malfunction. She'll never meet Kim Cattrall at Big Bear. <laughs> I know we'll be reunited someday as our friend. Father Frank knows, we all know, that deep down she'll be back in a flaming chariot in the sky. And she'll be riding in that chariot, waiting to bring us back, yelling instructions at the driver. But we will see you very soon. So I love you, and I'm glad to be your friend. Thank you, Jasper. Sure, I speak for everyone when I say that I love you. Okay. Ooh. Graham? You're up next, buddy. I want to thank you all for coming. Not many people know this, but... Missy was my one true friend. I know what you're thinking. Only one friend? Graham with those cheekbones? But it's true. She was my Lefou to my Gaston. My Ewok to my Han Solo. My flight attendant number two to my John McClane. When I think about her up in heaven. With all those angels. <laughs> no! Just drop the act, okay? We don't give a shit about Missy. I hated her. You hated her. You hated her probably most of the time. Let's be real here. She was terrible, okay? Like, what have we been doing? I just really thought I could cry, okay? I thought I could be better than her. <laughs> I thought I could win. Ooh. <laughs> okay, Grandma, she's not that's crazy. No! Don't touch me! Only patting the bone can touch me! Get out! No! Okay, well, well. Graham's having a moment. Um, I actually have some pretty exciting news to announce. Um, I know it's been a very... Oh, Proud of yourself. I would like to apologize to you all. That was very unprofessional on my part. Ever since I was 12 and played Streganona... Okay, we don't need to hear this apologize. Thank you, Graham. We all accept your apology. Just take a seat. I actually have some... Sit down, we have some exciting news to announce. Missy's alive! That's right, she's alive! And she's here! Come on out, Missy! I'm back, bitches. Your eyes are not deceiving you. This whole funeral has been a challenge, and these aren't Missy's parents, these are actors! Joke's on you, my parents are dead. Missy. The entire time I was in the hospital, recovering, okay. I knew you know that what? I had been Thank victimized. Thank you so much, Missy. We're very happy you're alive and not dead. So thank you, and we can sit down. But like I said, this was a challenge. At the end of challenges, one of you little duckies must go home. So Pepper Ann, Juniper, and I will retire to our judging chambers and decide whose dreams will come true. Roseanne and Kevin Spacey. Oh, he's a little rascal, isn't he? <laughs> yes. 
You know who I want to um, burn in hell? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Graham, that one. Yes, yes. There was just something yes. about him that made me want. I think he's a Scorpio. I was going to call him Devil Spawn, but that is much kind of worse. No. I'm, I feel a little guilty for saying that. No, you shouldn't feel guilty. He basically asks. Yes. You know, he tells you. Look at those pants. Yeah. My grandparents did not emigrate from Trinidad and Tobago mm -hmm. for their granddaughter to be verbally assaulted by a man in vaudeville pants. All right, we've made a decision. The judges and I have deliberated and we have made our decision. Would you all step forward, please, in the line? Missy, you may join them. Wait, what? Oh, did you think you were immune this week? Oh no, being in a hospital bed does not make you immune. What is happening? No, combine fine people. Did you never go to the RMV once? Come, let me show you. Right here for Jasper. Top turn. Actually, that's fine. And then you guys behind him. Yep, that's right. And Kamantha. You know what? You're, that's fine. Just face me so I can talk to you. There we go. Jasper, would you step forward, please? Jasper. The judges were blown away with your performance this week. Not only was your eulogy touching and sentimental, but your baking skills are impeccable. Not to mention, we noticed you've been working out, and Daddy likes. Jasper, congratulations. You are the winner of this week's challenge. You will be moving on to next week's finale. <laughs> Very proud of you. Thank you, Belvin. Thank you. Thank you, Jasper. You keep working like this, and I don't see how anyone can beat you. I didn't say that. I'm impartial. All right. Missy, Graham, just step forward, please. It gets harder every week. I'm sorry, but the two of you performed the worst in this challenge. Missy, we felt that you weren't present this week. Graham, while we understood your choices, they offended us. They offended my grandfather. They offended his grandfather. Missy, I'm sorry, my dear, but you're going to have to try and heal up as fast as you can, because you have made it onto the finale episode next week. That's right. Missy, you are safe. Graham, I'm sorry, but you will be leaving us this week. Is there anything you'd like to say? Apologize for? We're all ears. I don't waste my words on amateurs. I don't waste my ears on them either. Goodbye, clown. That boy isn't going to see a camera unless he gets employed at Circuit City. Now I know today has been emotionally exhausting. I suggest that you go home, relax, take a shower. You're going to need every ounce of your talent at the ready for next week's finale. I'll see you early tomorrow. Good night, children. Are we getting paid for this?